So the risk averse profile, again, wants principal protection. So you're going to be focusing on conservative investments. So the risk averse would have about 20% stock, 25% bonds, 20% real estate, 20% in cash, which can be things like liquid fixed annuities, money markets, things like that. There's, there's cash and cash equivalents, we call them. And 15% alternatives. Alternatives are anything that aren't stocks and bonds. So the risk averse investor likes alternatives that are conservative. So you might have things like precious metals, so silver and gold, or currency, something that doesn't move with the market. The risk averse investor, again, overall goal is to not lose money. So you might have physical gold even, and we're going to call this alternatives because it is not stocks and bonds.